Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Welcome back to another episode. We have wrapped up our boat projects here in Ensenada, Mexico, and are planning a trip back to the United States. There's been a whole big falafel about getting back into the States and we've worked it out and we think we are going to be able to do it the, this way. Catch a bus from Ensenada across, up to Tijuana and then we walk across the border into California. Hopefully they grant us a visa for another 90 days. We're going to cross back down, hop on the bus, come back to Ensenada and then hop in our boat and sail up to San Diego. Uh, the reason we're doing it that way is because you need a visa to enter into America by boat. And at the moment to get an interview at an embassy here in Mexico is 450 day wait. Um, we don't have those that time. So what we're going to do is hopefully go across the border here. I had a bit of a late start today, so we might go tomorrow, but that's our plan. We're gonna cross the border. We're gonna to walk to America today. So that'll be interesting. We're gonna take you for a ride, catch a bus. It's not gonna be very exciting, but uh, let's, let's go see how it works and how we go getting across the biggest international border, I think, in the world, or one of them. So we're on the bus, on our way to Tijuana. It was a two hour bus ride to Tijuana near the international border from Ensenada. We're about to walk across the border. Well, we're not about to, we're, just, we're still in the line. <laughs> still in the line, babe. It's been 10 minutes. Hot, hot. Calientito los churros, amigos, churros. It's been 10 minutes. We did move actually pretty far. And now we've stopped again. And that's the update. 3 pm, so. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. Wish us luck. We have an American visa again. It's exciting, we're gonna head back up to San Diego. Two days time, but we're going to sit back, relax. We haven't eaten all day, and we've been traveling back and forth, over borders, back and forth, and now we're about an hour and a half to our home. So it is our last day in Mexico. We're leaving and going back up to San Diego. It's only 60 nautical miles. So it's a very short sail, but we should be in San Diego tomorrow morning. And yeah, we're leaving this afternoon. So today we gotta go check out. We are back on the boat. We checked out of Mexico. It was super easy because the guy from the marina helped us. He drove us there, checked us out. And now we have to get ready to leave. Mum, how do you feel about leaving Mexico? Um, I, I'm excited to go back out to San Diego and get what we need so we can head off like indefinitely rather than being in a marina. So I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy to leave the marina. Taj, are you sad about leaving Mexico? Not really. <laughs> I do it like San Diego. Daddy, are you sad about leaving Mexico? I am. I feel like we've started a voyage and had to turn back around and go home. All right, so we are leaving Ensenada today. It's about um, nearly 1 a.m. and we're about to pull out of the marina here in Ensenada and sail to San Diego. Uh, we are going back up to San Diego. So we got visas and we can go to uh, back to America. We've got a few things that we need to get. We're not quite ready to head south yet, so we're gonna go back up there and hopefully get the boat a little bit more ready and then um, head to Sea of Cortez. Hopefully we have a better trip up than we did down. The weather seems to be calm. Lee's just gone and check the weather now. We're back up to San Diego. We're gonna be anchored up there and um, gonna take a few weeks up there to get ready and then head south again. How is the weather, Captain? Light offshore breeze. 
by south wind behind us. So we go when we get out there. We had a lovely no drama sail, not much wind, but we were happy to get a window with no wind on the nose for at least 24 hours. As prior to this, there was some very bad weather. We had no fuel issues, so Lee running the fuel through the filter for a few days prior to us leaving worked well. Okay, so we have just arrived in San Diego and we're checked, well, we're not completely checked in yet. We've pulled up to the police dock and um, they are doing, I don't know what they're doing, but we're stamped into the country. We're waiting for a cruiser's permit and we're not sure if we can leave or not. Don't think we can, because they never said to and they said they're coming back. So we're still here, but we just had Terry and- Oh my God, this is the best day of my life. Terry just bought us some cake. <gasps> Don't we're so excited about it! Oh my god! <laughs> so Terry's gonna it. help make um, cushions oh, who's that coming? for us and we oh, are cake. so grateful but she just came down with her friend and measured up and bought us cake. Thank you Terry. It looks so good. We're so excited. What it tastes like. Look they're all different flavours. We have to cut Carrot them. cake, a chocolate oh. something and that one looks like coconut. Like a lemon? It's coconut. It smells lemony. It's from a really yummy shop apparently. Is that what she said? Yeah. We're gonna have our tea <laughs> and cake. First taste of America. Welcome back to the United States, Bella. How are you feeling? Cold. <laughs> Warmer than Ensenada though. Yeah. Ensenada. No, because we had a heater in Ensenada. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're gonna go and plug into the jetty. <laughs> anyway, look at these gross cushions that we have. They're gonna look great very soon. Are you I'm going so to the fabric excited. Shop? Bloody lovely day in San Diego. Well, that's as long as you don't judge a day by the weather because it is cloudy. Uh, we've got a little break of sunshine coming through here. Oh, look at that. Where power is getting down. Well, when I say getting down, this is day two and we've got no power apart from now. So we're throwing in. Oh, uh, well we got the clouds just come back over. I was just about to show you 50 amps going in. But now we've just dropped down to 20 and the clouds move back over. Oh yeah. But anyway, we're down to 70%. Um, 69. And we were throwing in 40 to 50 plus amps on a really cloudy day. So we haven't really monitored our, our solar yet. Because we haven't really been on anchor until now. And day two and... I think we're doing all right. We'll let you know how we go. So far, day two with the lithium, no sun, just a little glimpse of sunlight now and then. I'm still going through all of the paperwork, lists of things to do this guy has written up. 
previous owner and there is loads and loads of it. You in your little kitchen there darling. It's not little, it's a massive kitchen. There's no bacon on there but there's some Tadies babe. Tadies, Tadies. And I'm not going to tell you it's breakfast because it's now lunchtime. <laughs> Back in San Diego we can uh, go shopping once the start of the month rolls in and we get some more money. We're completely out of money, we're just going to wait till payday, which is three days away, so <laughs> living off potatoes, rice, some eggs. So living uh, paycheck to paycheck, how's that treating you? Well, now we're on Anchor, we might be able to save a little bit of money, or just live. We had our first night on Anchor last night, and it was it was good, it was a little bit rockier than what you used to. We haven't been on Anchor in this boat ever, so last night was the first time we've been on Anchor, and there was some different noises, I mean, it's kind of noisy on a boat all the time, but... It was different last night. There was different noises, different motion, and yeah. We have no dinghy outboard, so we were rowing ashore. But Brian, our friend, has lent us his electric outboard to use while we're here. And to top it off, our friends Terry and Rick have given us a motor for Lee to get working. We are so grateful, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. We're stoked to be back here in San Diego. Join us next week as we start to get our final projects out of the way so we can sail to the Sea of Cortez. Bye.